Let's go. What episode is this? I don't even know. I think it's five. Okay, welcome to Fen Talks. For anyone who's listening today, we're going to be talking about our experience with the NHS, how we found it, and yeah, just kind of our experiences with it. I would like to apologise for my lashes. Came back from Ghana. Hmm. And (laughs) it was hot. I was sweating. And I lost a lot of lashes. So anyway, we're going to move on from that. Hmm. And uh, before we start, actually, uh, I don't think I've asked you this today. How are you? Healthy and living. No, you don't give me that. Yeah, no. That's what you say to everybody else. Don't give me that. I just don't feel like I've living. checked in with you. Living. Talk to me. No, it's just the usual, isn't it? Because they would have came last week. Potentially. Yeah. But well, I'm looking at, what do you say, 36 weeks or whatever? 87. 37, yeah. So. Or any time between now and the 10th of August, mm-hmm. the twins would have been, would have been born, yeah. 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 I was feeling it today. Yeah. Just being, being with Amira, six weeks holiday, and just trying to give her a good experience. But in the back of my mind, I'm thinking I shouldn't, shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be doing this. Mm. And yeah, it was getting to me. But how are you? Yeah, it was just, it's just the same really, like, they would have been, yeah, to, just, just the same. Like, they should be here, all that kind of stuff there. Like, that's it. Uh, so, yeah, you find it a bit hard then? Yeah, definitely. Oh. But I wanted to talk to you about kind of your experience with this journey and also our last miscarriage Mm -hmm. in regards to the nhs and you know how how you found it found it how what your experiences has been and you know do you feel like there has been some kind of do you think we've been treated differently because of the color of our skin you know, all of that. Oh, okay. Kind of, yeah, how do you feel? <sighs> Me, personally, when it comes to... Obviously, it's two different... times, mm. because... I'll blast them anyway. Milton Keynes one. Yeah, I just think they're a load of shit. I'm just going to say it straight. And why? Why do you feel? Uh, Well, not just... <sighs> When we lost, yeah, when we lost the baby last year, it was just that whole thing like I did not exist. Mm. But it's not like I need their approval of nothing. Mm. But it was just like, it's a, it's a bit of a mad situation because you're going for it. And the way I, how I look on it is, help me to help you, mm. if that makes sense. Mm. And with that Milton Keynes, yeah, there's a pile of shit. That's, mm. So what happened to make you kind of come to that conclusion? Yeah. I would say, obviously I'm going for it, but you're going for it. Now, as a man, we're going to automatically put our feelings to the side to deal with your feelings mm. at that current time. But when you're going through that kind of motion, yeah. You're talking about the miscarriage Yeah, the now. miscarriage. Yeah, yeah, the miscarriage for the first time. Going through that emotion, I feel like, okay, we, as mm. in... the staff and all that kind of stuff there, 
could obviously you're gonna feel distraught, you're gonna feel heartbroken and all that kind of stuff there, which is normal. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna feel it, but I'm able to put my feelings to a side to then deal with you. But you just ain't getting that support to yeah. help you basically. If that makes sense. You I weren't f- getting the support yeah, to yeah, help yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like even like even for example, even for myself, but to be honest with you, mm. I'm gonna really kind of put my feelings to a side, and I'll deal with it when I will deal with it. Mm. But yeah, I just feel they were just not supportive, mm. and yeah, they're just, just like all of like the nurses, the doctors, just, just a pile of shit. It yeah. was just like I mean, we know a lot more now because now, of social oh, media in terms of black women dying, black people, black women not being listened to when it comes to pregnancy. Uh-huh. And, you know, there's a lot more of this and, you know, we're five times more likely to die during uh-huh. birth and after compared to white women. Yeah. And I think Asian women are four times more likely or three times, I can't remember. So we know the this before, but when we were having a mirror, I didn't know no, no, any this. of this. Yeah. So obviously, you know, for me, it's always kind of in the front of my mind now because mm-hmm. I know the statistics and I know that black women are dying out here in hospitals in mm-hmm. 2024 because of negligence, because, you know, they're overlooking things. Do you feel that had any part to play in it or do you just think on a whole they were just rubbish? All right. Now, it's going to be unfair. Because if we're talking back then, I would have said yes. If we're talking today, I would still say yes, but the reason why I'll say yes, but obviously we've gone to those meetings and we've seen about the girl, not going to mention her story because it's not right, but another bereaved, another bereaved parent, yeah, parent. And then there's another one when we went the last time, yeah, yeah, another bereaved parent, and they were white yeah yeah now her story on what she went through as a white woman Mm. yeah is kind of like yeah not knowing about you know about the given there was no communication that she would have to give birth there was no communication no she was practically in the ward where there was other uh mums mums then the ward, the woman that was next to her was basically getting ready to go into a hospice. Mm. So she's white. Yeah. And she's gone through all of that. Yeah. So can you just imagine what yeah. a black woman will go through? Yeah. Now, I'm not saying about they're going to do it intentionally. Mm. Yeah. Maybe do, maybe they no, do. No, it's, maybe it's don't. non-biased it's just, racism. Is that what yeah. it's called? I don't know what it's Where called. Where you're, but it's, just, it's, it's ingrained in you. You're not yeah. doing it on purpose, but because you don't particularly yeah. connect with a certain ethnic group or you think you think certain things like, oh, black women can tolerate more pain so mm. we don't have to get to her right now. Yeah, it's all things that kind like of that. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, that would have made me look like, okay, cool, you're doing that to a white woman, what would you do to a black woman? Mm. And I'm straight away blasting Milton Keynes, yeah? Mm. Like, not like we live in Milton Keynes, but, like, that's the hospital mm. with when it came to the first one. Yeah. Yeah? And For then, me, it was the, the doctor that, when we'd gone in after the, after the bleeding, and, you know, when you called the ambulance, and they, got, they took us in to A&E, and I think one of the doctors came up and said... Well, we've already lost the baby. We need to get you into surgery so we don't lose mum too. Do you remember he said that? You don't remember it? No. You don't? It was when we was in that little room, kind of in the corner. And I remember him saying, I'm not part of the team. There's another team that's going to come and see you. But at the end of the day, we... Nigerian guy. I think so, yeah. And he said, we don't want... we." But that was when they yeah, said yeah. I had to go for the operation basically yeah, 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 to yeah. remove the pregnancy because I was bleeding too much yeah. and he said oh we've already lost baby we don't want to lose mum too Yeah. and I just thought wow that that actually came out of your mouth yeah like wow 
I, it's like sometimes I feel like because I go through it a lot, they're, yeah, they're numb to they're it. They're numb to it. Yeah, like, but, I but just no, feel no, like no, that's no, not an excuse, no, 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 I know, I know that's it's not, an, not excuse. an excuse. I know it's not an excuse, but sometimes I always see that you don't think. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm not making an excuse. It's, like for me, I will never forget that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He probably is, he don't even know who I am. I will mm. never forget that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And even, do you remember when I went to A&E, you were here with the mirror and I come back from London and I was, it was when I was bleeding. Mm -hmm. And I went to A&E because you said go. And they, <laughs> I waited all that time. And then the doctor was like, so what do you think's happening? And I was like, well, I don't know. Like maybe a miscarriage. And she was like, mm, yeah, possibly. Mm. I was just like, yeah. So can mm -hmm. we think, well, I've had one, my sister's had one. That's lovely. That's really good. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah. Can we find out what's happening with me, please? Yeah. You know, and it was just so bleh, like blasé, like, okay, yeah, maybe you've seen it every day, but right now mm -hmm. I'm going through it and I've never been through this before. So can I have a little bit of compassion, you know? Yeah. I, I don't know, me personally, when it comes to, yeah, when it came to... I just remember leaving that hospital so angry. I was so yeah. angry. I was crying. I was just fuming. I was fuming. Yeah, I just... Yeah, but that's Milton Keynes. So, mm. yeah, like I said, anyone in the Milton Keynes area, try another hospital. Like, yeah. That's because they... Well, let's talk about... I'm, no, another. we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk about another hospital, which yeah. I'm gonna be bigging up. I yeah. will be bigging up, but I just have to let them know, like, because I'm not trying to make it. Oh yeah. So you don't. Just, you do think it's a race thing, or or you don't in terms of. Oh no no no! There's definitely racial bias. Yeah. I will definitely say that. Yeah. Do I feel like it's an intentional thing? It depends. I can't speak for every individual. That'd be wrong of me to speak yeah, to. Yeah, but when it's getting to the point where people's lives are at stake, I feel like that whole, oh, it's not intentional, that bullshit needs to go. Okay, okay, so, okay, so, so let, let's, let's, let me drop it like this. Let me drop it like this. Bit yeah? important, you know. The reason why, like, the reason why I will look at it different is obviously this is when it happened with the twins when they checked the cervix and they see that your blood pressure was lower. Do you get what I'm saying? Hmm. Now, Obviously, you're going through what you're going through, and then you kind of like you you you're kind of quiet, yeah. And then you went to you know the the woman, the nurse, yeah. I think she was a student nurse or whatever. Mm. Saw your blood pressure was getting low. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. You could tell they're moving quick. Yeah. They're about it's more of a panic quick. Yeah. Now whether they're overstaffed or what, I don't know. Yeah. Understood. But. I'm sorry, I was understaffed, <laughs> whether they're all understaffed, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But what I will say is, you can tell the panic that they're under. And you could tell, like, they just want to get you up to a ward yeah. safe. So yeah. do, you get, do you get what I'm saying? So it's like... Yeah. But I, I, I hear that, but why did it take for my blood pressure to drop so low for something to kick in do you know what i mean but, why did it have to get to that dangerous that, level before i was attended to but they check your blood pressure before okay they check like i said they check your blood pressure before yeah then it's kind of like the woman's gone around yeah whether she's attending that person like i said maybe like i said under stuff yeah I don't know. yeah yeah like but she went through all not see like that one nurse has definitely gone through all those other checking them. Now it's coming back to you again. Yeah. And then they saw your blood pressure, they text the first time. Yeah. And they're like, okay, straight away, she's like, that's low. Mm. Then she said to me, like, obviously, is your blood pressure normally low? Yeah. And I'm saying, yeah. Then she done it again. And she's like, nah, this is really low. Yeah. Yeah. Then, like, because she's a student nurse or yeah. whatever, so she don't really know that much. She's then gone to call, to call another nurse. Then yeah. another nurse has gone and checked. And she's like, 
nah, that's low. Okay, no, I mean, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, it'd be hard for me to say, oh yeah, it's because it's it's because it's a racial thing. Yeah. That for me to say, oh yeah, they kind of left you to it. Yeah. I generally looked at the woman's gone around to every single person. Do you get what I'm saying? So now when that's happened, now it's the panic stage. Now as them being, now as them panicking, yeah, it makes you panic more. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Is, yeah. Yeah, and I always remember then it's like, it shouldn't take me. You lot are qualified, but it shouldn't take me to say, look, Rare, rare, rare. Calm down. I'm here. Rare, 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 rare. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Voice yeah. for for me to get you from the I don't know what that bed that they give you to the it's other like bed. The ambulance kind yeah. of stretcher bed to the hospital to bed. The hospital bed. Yeah. It shouldn't really take me. Mm. You lot are qualified in this, mm. but because of the panic, 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 panic. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, that is why I would say they are they're just rubbish. Mm. Now when it comes to yeah, the racial stuff, definitely I would say it would play a part in it. Mm-hmm. But I'm not going to, it's hard for me to say it's done. Oh, because she's black or whatever, whatever. I don't know. Do mm. you get what I'm saying? Uh, it's hard. F- I don't think I don't all, you know, nurses and doctors, but there are definitely some who just. Do you want me to, I'll tell you what. Do you know what? I know we're talking about Milton Keynes Hospital, but now I'm going to bring St. Thomas into it. Okay. Yeah? If you're on the honest truth, I feel like it's more black women that don't look after their own women more than white women, from my experience on St. Thomas's. Okay. Now, you had that idiot... No, let me not say idiot, because that's the new <laughs> like You had that idiot... Um, what's it breastfeeding specialist woman yeah. who never saw and try to say about our child being tongue tied and all that kind of stuff there. Yeah. yeah all that nonsense she was there. not tongue tied at all but I slightest. always remembered and I wish I will I can't remember that woman's name but the specialist at St Thomas's I always remember that Rosaline yeah mm. the black Caribbean woman mm. you know the one that literally that made you stand up and then you walked, but then she didn't see you stand up, so you had to stand up again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I and, can't really remember her, mm-hmm. but I remember doing that. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah, when I look at, yeah, when I look at that, it's more... Well, it's the fact that I'd given, well, I'd had the C-section with a mirror, mm-hmm. and we'd been put on this kind of waiting area yeah. ward... And I was kind of in and out of consciousness. And Amira was born what, around 12? Yeah, see. Around 12. And I remember it was dark. It was dark outside. And I remember he- overhearing, because I'm like in and out of consciousness. And I heard someone say, why is she still here? She no, should have that's... been given a room ages ago. Oh yeah. my gosh, look at her catheter. It's overfilling. And I heard someone say that. Mm. And obviously, I'm in and out of consciousness. Yeah. And I'm like, so I've just been left here. Like, left I've it. literally yeah. just now. had a baby and been left here. No one's and checked on St. me. No one's seen me. Like, that could cause infection. That mm. could, like, anything could have escalated from there. And I just remember, like, I'm so tired. I'm so exhausted. And I was just like, rah, is anyone looking after me? Like, what the yeah. hell? Now, that, you see, that Pacific thing right there, I look on that as definitely a racial thing. Whether there were white women that done it, whether it was black women that done it, I don't know, because I was not there at that current time when yeah. that happened. Yeah. Yeah? Because once again, it's kind of like, we don't know yeah, yeah, what's yeah. right from wrong. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? But now... Yeah, because we're going in with blind trust. Blind you know trust, I mean? This yeah. is not our specialty. specialty this yeah. is not our field. I'm not a medical... You know, I haven't trained. I haven't been to uni to know about... I don't know anything. Mm. And I... Looking back now, I wish I had done more research. research. I wish I hadn't put so much trust of my life into other people's hands. Mm-hmm. But you do, like, you grow up and you just expect doctors, nurses to just 
have your best interest at heart and you have like you have to remember people are still people at the you end see of the thing day. is the thing is like that day that's why i said i had we have to bring st thomas into this while yeah. we're talking about that yeah, yeah yeah now like i said st thomas is yeah now like i said whether they're white whatever i look on that as a pacific racial thing that's neglect yeah yeah because yeah, i was saying that if you was white yeah. would they have done that would i have been left there that's that's one thing I always see. Like yeah, that Pacific like 12, thing. Like twelve, it was like eight hours. Yeah, that Pacific thing. That's the the question I was like. Yeah. If you was white, would have you been left there that long? Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So that there, yeah, I could kind of agree to. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. But I don't know whether it was a white woman, black woman, mm. Asian woman. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So I can't really talk on who done it. And then yeah, when it comes to the breastfeeding specialist, the woman. Who's trying to say that our daughter's tongue tie? Mm. Yeah, she ain't even checked. She even walked around, and you're the first time you saw her. Remember, I think they start their shift around seven o'clock or whatever time they start. Seven, mm. eight o'clock. She ain't come round and tour around four in the afternoon. Mm. Try to come and say, "Oh yeah, no, she's tongue tie." Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So when I look at and it's funny because looking back at the videos of Amira and seeing her screaming yeah. like. And her tongue is Out. moving. Yeah. Like, I was like, how could you even think she's got tongue tied? Like, how? Like, did, did, so, see, that Pacific woman, yeah, yeah, didn't bother. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Whether, whether it's like, I don't care. There's no excuse. Yeah. There's no excuse. Yeah. So-called specialists. Mm. Yeah. And the same thing, I believe Milton Keynes would be on the same agenda as... St. Thomas's yeah. or worse. Yeah. The only hospital that I will give a lot of credit. Yeah. Yeah. And this is why I said when it comes to the race thing, it's hard for me to say it. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Is because I look at John Radcliffe, Oxford. Yeah. Yeah. Now, one of the midwives I wasn't a fan of, and I think her name was Susan or Suzanne. Oh, uh, that was. The old lady. Yeah. Older yeah. lady. Yeah. Now, that Soph, when it comes to Sophie and Alexa, Alexa yeah, yeah, white girls, yeah. young white girls, yeah, and like I said, I know with the circumstances, but I can say that you were safe. Yeah, I felt very, very looked after. Yeah, I felt like I was in safe hands. Like if anything yeah. was gonna d go down, like they were there. Yeah, they like I could honestly say, I'll give them. Like, when it comes to, we're just talking about the midwife section. But mm. you know what? Before we even get to that, let's go to the beginning from when, I know we've said it in our story, but mm. when we actually got transfers to John, John Radcliffe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's talk about the doctor who tried to make an attempt. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm bad that I don't even know his name. I but... It was Turkish, he accepted. Turkish guy? I want to say he was Greek or whatever. Okay. Greek. Wh whatever he's from, like, yeah. yeah. But he tried. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? I just remember getting there and just thinking I'm going to have to wait ages, ages to be seen. Yeah. And it was so quick. It was like we were in, we were in a room, we were there yeah. for like five minutes. We were brought into the scan room. The, what, the doctor the, the, wasn't there. She was like, I'm going to get him. And it was just super super quick like they were yeah. just they, they like they yeah they had a system and it's it worked like all of them even the woman i can't remember the one like the place that we wait cause i remember saying that we're going to be here for ages yeah. and then yeah we moved then we went up to yeah i don't want to get into that bit but yeah we go past then there was the lady rachel when you was going through you know her name was rachel the one who's saying about about the ticket, you know, like, she just didn't get you okay, back. Yeah. Her name was Rachel. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if they're called midwife as well. Or, yeah. Yeah. Like, but once again, an amazing woman. Yeah. White woman. Yeah. 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 Now she looked like maybe she might be in her 30s or whatever. Mm. Yeah. Like, but, yeah, you could like, you could see the care. Like, yeah. even the Spanish lady, I don't want to talk too much about that section, but, you know, when it comes to the, Every single one in that hospital, mm. yeah, you could tell they cared. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And. 
and I felt like they saw me for, for me. you. Yes. 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 Yeah. And that's John Radcliffe. Yeah. Yeah. That's John Radcliffe, Oxford. Yeah. I didn't so, feel like. Yeah. You know, my colour came into it. At Nothing. All. They just, look at they you as a human being. Yeah. That's it. And, and as a woman who was going yep. through some shit. Yeah. So. Yeah. When it come to. Yeah, especially when it came to those. Those individuals. Yeah. Then, yeah, once again, Alexa. Yeah. No, well, Sophie, it was actually Sophie. Well, later, but that's where Layla, Layla came through with Sophie. With Sophie. And then Anthony Jr. came through with Alexa. Alexa. Yeah. yeah. And you could tell, the like, they generally care. Yeah. Like, even me and Dad actually learned. Yeah, because so. Alexa was... Every contraction, contraction, she was there. Did not know about none of that. She's, you know, rubbing my back and she's pulling my, like my yeah. pelvic to, together. Like, together. Yeah. And it was like, and then once it died down, she went. And then I might contraction built back up. She was there again. She's rubbing. She's squeezed. I was like, whoa, <laughs> what's going on here? And it helped so much. Do you want me to tell you something as well? I don't think they, not, I don't think Alexa or Sophie have kids. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah, but one thing I can say is, like, for that generation, you're in safe hands. Mm. Like, and where it comes to that, like NHS and all that, look after those people. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm not. Even, I'm going to get to her in a minute as well, which we will talk about, and that's Candice. Yeah. Yeah. As words, like and Sarah. Sarah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna to get to yeah, the order. I'm gonna to get to all of them. Don't worry. I'm gonna to get to all of them. two, of the, two of the Sarahs. Yeah, two of the Sarahs. Yeah, I'm gonna to get to all of them. But the reason why I say Candice is because Candice came during you was in labour. Now she you might, did? yeah. Wow. And I remember, I remember, like when she came, and I was like, I'm angry at the time, and the girl told like. Like, yeah, and I'm like, I don't want to hear this fucking shit now. Do you get what I'm saying? But her her energy, her soul is pure. Like, yeah. you could tell, yeah, she, cared. like, even when it comes to, like, leaving the leaf, I'm like, obviously, I I'm not going to be disrespectful. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm like, you know, you're just angry, and I'm like, I don't even want to hear. Yeah. My kids are dying. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't want to hear none of this. But yeah, so she is the one. So out of all of them, Candice actually came. Okay. Yeah, she was the first one to come. Uh, after Candice, skip all that. Then, you know, you go into the wards. Then Sarah, the young Sarah, when she's the one that's starting up, obviously, you know, done the stuff with the twins. Yeah, she's, and I think she's the one that moved you up to the next room. Yeah, she came yeah. down. I think I was on the yeah. ward with. Yeah, you was on that ward. Yeah, she, the... I remember her just listening and just going, "I'm gonna get you moved." Yeah, like I'm gonna get because you moved because obviously upstairs now. wasn't. Yeah, she said, the, the seventh floor there isn't any space, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna get you off of this ward. And literally within what an hour or two, yeah, we were moving. Yeah, so yeah. with like I said with her name Sarah yeah like with her I definitely will say yeah she's got gone up yeah I don't want to talk about all that bit but yeah literally she's you know with the twins came back then after that's when we went up to the room and like I said Candice and then the other Sarah very like I said they were very all of them yeah. like all of them they were very like I said very thoughtful but the reason why it was because like Candice was with us most of the yeah, that time yeah she was there for most of so, it so and then you can just tell like but even the way that they would talk about the twins what names yeah 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 it's like they were acknowledged yeah you know, they would walk into the room and the first thing they would do was like, oh, can I? Is it okay? Oh, they're gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, do you know what I mean? And they were constantly 
Yeah. You know, they would ask us questions and, you know, if, if we wanted to talk about them and, yeah. and it made it, even though they were, they were gone, it made, made it feel like they weren't. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I don't want to talk about it, but yeah, this, with, with all that, they, yeah, they definitely, no, all, all of them were, all of them were help, helpful. All of them were helpful. And, yeah, it was just, from the moment even candies to the moment we actually left and even when there's one saying like nhs going back to what i'm saying about how the nhs treat you mm. with that experience i know our situation was crap like our kids are not with us now and there's no but being in John Ratcliffe. Yeah. Yeah. They tried whatever. It's like boxing. I know we've relate to it. Rather than us getting us the full 100 of the punch, they're just, even if they pull in this 2% or 1%. No, I'm definitely point. glad that we were there. Yeah. Because. I'm glad we were there. They generally They're, even the, when we did get onto the seventh floor and it felt like we were private like yeah. in private care yeah it felt like we had paid for it yeah. you know and just yeah the level of care the level of service mm. candice was the one who contacted multiple funeral homes yes. for us and, and got things sorted out for yeah. us. She yep. sorted out, you know, when I had to go and register Anthony Jr. and, and kind of where I had to go, mm. uh, she sorted out all of that and she was like, any questions, just call me, just text me, yeah. anything. Like, I would have, we would have been so lost without her. Yeah, no, she, you like... Know? She went above and um, beyond. Yeah, it's... And even stayed after her shift. You know, we'd be sitting there talking to her for like hours. And then I'd say to her, oh, yeah. what time are you finished? And she'd be like, oh, three hours ago. I'm like, oh my gosh, go home. Go she's home. like, no, 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 it's fine. I want to be here with you. And I'd be like, no, go home. She, no, please. she's a, like, like I said, all of them, all of them. But it's just, once again, when it comes to the race thing, yeah, it's hard for me to yeah, say Yeah, I, I didn't, like, I didn't cause feel cause it. There at they all. like at all. Even like the woman, the almost with respect to say auntie, yeah. Her energy. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Like it's every single, yeah, every single nurse there, apart from that yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Susan or Susie or like what? Yeah. Apart from her. Yeah. Every single one of them fight that like, I can like yeah and that's what I said so they definitely need to be looked after yeah. because they're like but I mean yeah. like for me because obviously knowing of all the statistics and things that happen you know after oh, I forgot to say one thing we're gone so it was in first after the twins well after Anthony Jr. was born and I had to be taken into theatre that's another thing my biggest fear right there and then was that I was gonna die. And I just remember turning to one of the surgeons and I was like, please don't let me die. Please don't let me die. And she was like, you're not gonna die. And at that point, like I'm in so much pain, I couldn't move. I'm oh. vomiting up all this green bile and then they put me on my back and it's like I'm choking oh. on it. And I just remember looking at, I was looking at you and I was looking at Alexa. And I just remember her saying, I'm here. Like, you're gonna be okay, I'm here. She was like, I'm watching everything, I'm not leaving. And I was still scared, but mm. I felt better knowing that I had people in my corner. Do you know mm. what I mean? That's weird because that is, That is 
the one thing that's going to eat me for the rest of my life. Because I know how you were when it came to, yeah, when it came to the theatre. Mm. Like, just knowing that Junior was alive. I know. And, oh, man. Yeah, just knowing that he was alive. And we weren't with him. No, but, like... I know it's mad, but I don't blame you for not being because you you have to. I blame myself. For How that. can you blame yourself? Because it's like you see, with I know how you are with Feta, and I'm like, I can't leave you. Do you get what I'm saying? I can't leave you. But I left my son. And that's something that's going to eat me for the rest of my life. Because... Yeah, but if you can't blame me, then you can't blame yourself. No, because the reason, the reason why you have to, you had to be like, you have to be there. Do you get what I'm saying? Now, I look at myself, yeah, and I'm like, I know you needed you needed me there. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right, let's not say about it when it comes to the human mind. Because I thought he died. But I just feel like I abandoned him. Like, not knowing that he, like, he's still alive. He did. And then when, when, uh, when Alexa, I always remember when Alexa said that, yeah. Like, when she said that, yeah, like, he's still alive. And then I remember seeing you and I'm like, are you okay, are you okay? And I'm asking and everything's all cleaned up and you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, yeah, just running, yeah, running in there. Back on top of giving like skin to skin. That is what kills me. And I know that it's going to like, when I say, I don't believe in a haunt, but that will haunt me for the rest of my life. Like, like when it, when it comes to Layla, the pain is different with Layla. Layla is, I never had nothing, no connect, nothing from her. A daughter that I never touch. Mm. That's how I look in it. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, so, like obviously, you know, skin and all that, like hold her body and all that kind of stuff there. But when it comes to like, I had something, I never got nothing from her. Like, no, couldn't, like nothing. Where when it comes to junior, I did. But then I felt like I abandoned him. And yeah, it's kind of like I always say that him fighting, him fighting and all that kind of stuff there. And he fought, man, like, yeah. Yeah, man, he's fought for life. And. Yeah, man, it's just, 
it's weird because sometimes I say to myself like oh, this feeling like I said I'll never do nothing stupid but this feeling I like it's why I know I've got to live my life and I know they be saying dad live your life yeah I know if it was me I'll be saying it but I can't remember what I said to you the other day like oh. if I could have spoken to my mum and just said you know you have to live even if it means mm. I, I can't be with you or I've got to go and live with someone else but live like live your life like as a kid all you want is your parents to be happy. All you want is your parents to smile and have a good life. Yeah, man, but you can't have a good life. Like, I can never... I have happy moments, but I can never be happy again. And when people say about, oh, yeah, well, you know, times are healer and all that, I know myself so well. Well, that's bullshit anyway. That whole time's a healer because, I'm sorry, my mum died when I was seven years old. I'm not healed. I'm not healed. I still break down. I still... Mother's Day is hard for me. Christmas is hard for me. My birthday is hard for me. Her birthday is hard. So there's no healing. Mm -hmm. You just learn to live life around it. But now and again, it, it comes up. It comes up. And it hits. So there's no healing. I'm still waiting for the healing. Mum's been gone 30 odd years. Where's the healing? I just feel with, oh man. There's so yeah. many things that people say. And you know, we'll do another pod for that because it's, it's too many, but yeah. There's either shit that people say that really pisses me off or people just don't say anything, which really pisses me off. <laughs> like, if you don't know what to say, I'm sorry for your loss. There we go. Oh, I don't know what to say, but I'm thinking of you. There we go, I've just given you two. Simple, easy. Mm. Yeah? If you ain't got no big, big words, those are your two lines. Use them, use them well, mm. that's it. By saying that, that'll help you, but not be right for the other individual. What do you mean? So it's like what you feel, yeah. Like, you know, you said about sorry for your loss. Yeah. Don't know what to say. Sorry for your loss. And then what was the other one you said? Oh, she said sorry for your loss. I'm thinking of you. Thinking of you. Yeah. yeah? <laughs> there is. That might help you, but it might not help someone else. Maybe someone else. Someone, no, I'm not saying yeah. that would help me. I'm saying it's better than saying nothing yeah. oh, at yeah, all. Say, yeah, yeah, or yeah. it's better than saying time's a healer. Or it's better than saying everything happens for a reason. Like, there are things that are not going to help. Mm. Those are not going to help. If you don't know what to say, I've given you two. That means you can say something without pissing someone off. Do you know what I mean? Or you could just say, is there anything I could do to help you? There's another one. Like, you don't, like, it could be something as small as bringing food to you. Could be something as small as just coming to check you, take you out. Could be something as small as getting you out of the house. Could be something as, let me actually chill with you. Could, like, there's... Did you get what I'm saying? I feel like, and I know we're coming way off the topic now, but people just, they kind of, when something like this happens and it's, you know, this big, a lot of people just step away and just wait for you to almost, I don't want to say this, but get over it so that you're normal again and then mm. then they can talk to you. Do you know what I mean? I feel like a lot of people just step away and just be like, I'm not even gonna get into that because yeah. that's heavy, that's a lot, and I'm gonna step away. 
and you know it was a friend of mine actually and she she was pregnant she didn't tell me she was pregnant at the time she, she said she'd watched our first video and I said to her you shouldn't have watched it because you were pregnant and she said how dare I not go through your video because it's uncomfortable for me when you have to live through this every day. She was like, I made myself watch it because that's a snippet of uncomfortableness of your, you know, of what, of the pain that you're going through. And I'm gonna st I'm gonna press pause because it's too much for me. How dare I? Mm. You're living this every day. You lived it. She's like, I'm gonna sit there and watch it so I understand what you've been through. Mm. And when she said that, I was like, I didn't even look at it like that. No. I didn't even look at it like that. No. But yeah, in terms of the NHS, I do believe there is racism in there. I do believe black families are being neglected. And I do believe, you know, the... <sighs> that babies are dying, black babies are dying and black women are dying in hospitals because of this. But I also believe that there are good hospitals out there and that there are good people out there who are working for the NHS. Let me ask you this one more thing because I don't want to bypass them either. The bereavement for Milton Keynes, how have they been? They've been all right. Yeah. They've been all right. I do feel, I don't feel like it's, it's, it's a racial thing. I personally think the team they have is very, very small. And I don't feel that they are capable to do their job because there's not enough of them. Okay. And therefore certain information didn't get passed on certain yeah certain things like it i had to find out the hard way or the long-winded way whereas i feel like that information should have been straight up mm -hmm. so for example anton jr was born alive which meant that i was entitled to maternity pay it was the, uh... Cause the, is, she, is she a bereavement? The one from the counselling, not counselling, jeez. Do you know the one in the group? Because she's the one that's, that actually told you. No, it was the the mother who told us. Oh, it was the mother? Yes. So it wasn't actually... It wasn't the midwife. Oh, okay, so she didn't even know. Or well, They did know, but it, the information was, didn't... Was, yeah, passed. Yeah. yeah. So... It sh I shouldn't have actually, because I almost didn't get my maternity pay. When I spoke to them on the phone, they said, oh, but you went back to work. I said, yeah, I went in for two days and I got signed off. Mm. And she said, oh, okay. So, because usually if you've gone back to work, we have to start this whole process again. Mm. And I said, no, 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 no. I got signed off. It was like two, well, it wasn't even two days. It was two half days that I went in and literally cried at my desk. She was like, okay, that's fine, I'll process your application. But basically, I shouldn't have even done that. Mm. It should have been, like on that first meeting, your child was born alive, you are automatically yeah. entitled to maternity pay. Here's the forms, or here's who you need to contact, let's get the ball rolling. But then John Radcliffe should have told you that. I don't know, I don't yeah. know. Well, whatever, it's just been, know. yeah. Whoever. Yeah, it, whatever, it, yeah. If, it, if we had not gone to that group, yeah. that bereavement group for parents, all now, you I wouldn't know. have known. Yeah. I wouldn't have known. That information wouldn't... So that, well, you know what, tell people, whoever, you don't know who this is watching. So. Yeah, well, yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah, so if, you're, if your baby is born, no matter how many weeks, because it's usually, if, if the baby is born after 24 weeks, then you're entitled to it. Mm -hmm. But there is a clause that says if it's before 24 weeks, because obviously Junior was 21, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. He was still entitled to it because he was born alive. And yeah, the bereavement midwife did come after I'd started the process and said, oh yeah, I'm really sorry about that. I, I should have I should have told you, but mm. I, I don't know if she said I didn't know or I forgot, I can't remember what she said, but I was just like, well, I've done it now, so. And then they did the certificate wrong. So then I'd sent off all my forms and if I was not calling them up, I wouldn't know that they weren't processing my application. Mm -hmm. So then I had to call back the bereavement midwife and get another certificate of which I then had to email and sorry post first class back up to them which delayed my application so mm. it's just these little things and I just feel like obviously it's not intentional yeah, that's, yeah it's not intentional but but these things should be it's got to be more efficient yeah or even have a system that automatically sends it out you mm. know or have well, they probably do have checks but again I think they've just got so many to look after that they can't yeah I don't know and also the bereavement midwife first of all I didn't know I was getting a bereavement midwife I didn't know someone was going to turn up here to sit down and talk to mm. me because obviously we had a midwife when we had Amira because mm -hmm. we were in London and one turned up at my dad's in Milton Keynes yeah. we were like, we did it. <laughs> but that wasn't explained to me I didn't know what the what the reason was I didn't know how long it was going to last I didn't know what kind of support they were going to give she just turned up mm. And I was like, oh, okay, you're here. What happens, yeah. you know? And I just feel like it was just a bit hazy. And mm. obviously she's kind of, and there was no definitive end. Mm. Not to say, okay, we've done such and such a weeks. Now, you know, if you need us, message mm. us. Or, do you know what I mean? She's just kind of fizzled away. Mm. So, yeah, I'm a bit niche with that. Okay. I have an issue with that, but I do, I do, I don't believe it's anything to do with the colour yeah. of my skin. I just think that they, they just got too much on. Yeah. That's what I think. Okay, cool. Anything else? No. Cool. Yeah, so that's it for this one. NHS. I yeah. would definitely say sorry to people. Do your research. Yes. Do your research into birth. Do your research into the hospital. Do your research into kind of everything. You don't have to go into, into depth of everything, but have an idea. You know, where do you give birth? What happens? What happens if it does go left? Mm -hmm. You know, what's the process? Kind of just have a look out there. And if you are bereaved and you have lost or again, just ask those questions. Like for me, we are in the process of, actually, I wanted to say this as well. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, we're in the process of getting our medical records because from what I've seen, again, and it's online, so it may not be accurate, but my cervix should have been checked between 16 to 20 weeks and I know we had our 20 week scan and we were 19 weeks and they did not check my cervix they didn't scan my cervix so John Radcliffe said that that is something that they do with mm. multiples regardless mm. of your past if you've got multiples you're going to scan your cervix and I'm pretty sure Milton Keynes did not and I want to know why. Cool. So yeah. if you are carrying multiples, please, please, please get your cervix checked. Get it, get them to do it and don't leave until they do. Because I know it's about money. They don't mm -hmm. want to scam people because it costs more money. Fuck that, get it, get it checked. Yeah. And if, if you feel anything's wrong, if you are, you know, if you get any kind of discharge or whatever, go and get it checked. Just go and get it checked. So, yeah, that's what I would say. All right, then.